Hey guys, Gonzo. I'm just out taking a cruise. If you look way back there, you'll see a porcupine in that tree. And look at this one right close to the road. It's an apple tree. I don't know. You can see all the branches. That porcupine must have been eating those branches all year long. Right now he's back. He's starting to climb out. <coughs> he's in a, a popple tree. He sees me. Anyways, uh, I'm out just taking a cruise right now. I'm trying to find some freaking... Uh, well, that tree chewed up that maple tree pretty good, too. I'm out trying to find some goldenrods, but the snow's freaking four feet deep. I want to show you guys uh, something about the grubs. Uh, there's grubs inside of them that you can use for uh, ice fishing bait, and I've used them many times. I want to show and explain to you. So I'm going to keep cruising, see if I can find something. Um, peace out, people. Hey, guys, it's Gonzo. Um, this is what I wanted to show you uh, golden rods you know in the summertime uh, you see them like on a real dewy morning and stuff you see a golden rod standing up when they're green and you see a big white bunch of bubbles around there well that is the night before when a bug laid its eggs inside and they put the foam around it the foam turns hard and turns into these bulbs here and inside there an egg hatches and it turns into a grub and if you're ever out ice fishing, you run out of bait, uh, you're after perch, panfish, or anything, these are easy to find. They're in like fields and openings on the edge of lakes all over the place and stuff. Um, what I used to do as a kid, I haven't did it in years, I would go out and snap these things off and put them in bags, but don't put it where it's too warm because they'll eat their way out of these things. You know, you want to keep them in something cool like in your, uh, in your fridge or your garage. So when you go ready to go ice fishing, January, February, you don't have to go snap any off then. There's grubs in here that go on a jig head. And I'm going to show you what it looks like when they eat their way out. Like, uh, you can see this one's been ate out. You know, they eat their way out. It looks like there's probably a couple in there. Here's a perfect hole. This one must have ate its way out just recently. There's the hole. You can see it's fresh. Um, anyways, most of these all have ate their way out, but if you get them when they're fresh and they're green in the fall before they turn brown, even when they're brown, they're good. I'm going to ch check a couple here that, like this one might, this one might have a grub in it, we'll see, because there's no hole in it. I just cut them in half, son of a bitch. Anyways, if you look right there, now I drop. There he is. Actually, there was two of them in there. I got one on each side, but I'll put the grub there. If you look, this is, he was right there. And they feed on all this white stuff in there all winter long. And once they escape, they turn into flies in the springtime. Unless if they're lucky enough to escape uh, in the fall time, but then they die. I'll give you a close-up of the grub, what it looks like. It's right... Son of a gun, where do you go? There he is. That's what the grub looks like anyways. It's not very big, but it's plenty big enough to go on your hook. And catch yourself some bluegills and perch or whatever else you want. So, like I said, you know, here's there's the little hole that the little guy lived in, and he was eating. And uh, let me find you another one that's been ate out of. Well, anyways, I mean you can see like this one here. You can see where he's chewed his way out of there and stuff. So here's another one. Here's a here's a good hole. Where that one chewed his way out. So if you're ever out, you run out of bait, if you do a lot of fishing, you know, like the um, Matt, Zupets, Nick, you know, I, I know you guys do a lot of fishing up there. Uh, you know, ch try these uh, grubs out. You know, I know we all use wax worms and mousies and stuff, but these grubs work just as well. And if you're, uh, it's easy bait to get. If you don't want to use this stuff, you don't have to, but just an idea, fellas. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Leave me a comment, like it, ask me something. Peace out, Chucky. Bye-bye.